Hey guys, we got the Fujifilm X-T30 here, and I'm going to show you how to set up the camera to use the command dials to control the manual settings instead of the aperture and the shutter speed dial. So let's get started. Uh, here we go. So first, why would someone want to use the command dials to change the aperture and the shutter speed? Well, when you first buy Fuji, uh, you hear about you know, the tactile controls and how everyone really loves that. But sometimes uh, people are just used to using the DSLR uh, controls, so using the front and the rear command dials. And uh, they're just familiar with that. So, you know, it's just creatures of habit want to use the same thing. Another reason is sometimes you just want to use one hand to control the camera rather than uh, changing the uh, aperture or the shutter speed by taking your hands off the camera. Sometimes you can't do that or you just don't want to do that and it's just not as fast. So that's where the command dials uh, really have an advantage over the tactile field dials. Finally, in the case of the X-T30, uh, there's actually no ISO command dial, so you know, you've got to find another way to control it rather than diving into the menu. To prevent yourself from diving into the menus, um, this is a really good way to do that. So with that said, let's get started with showing you how to set up the camera. Okay, so step one, we're going to turn the camera on and we're going to click menu, so we'll bring the menu up. Next, we're going to go to the wrench icon right over there. And then we're going to go to button and dial setting. You're going to scroll down until you see command dial setting. Go there. And you can see there's options here for the front dial. There's three options. And then there's one more fourth option for the rear command dial. So first we're going to set the front. Uh, you can see number one, there's an option to set it for aperture or shutter speed. Uh, today I'm just going to set it to aperture. You can set it to shutter speed and set the real rear dial. Uh, for aperture, but today let's do front dial aperture and two. Two is basically when you press the button in, uh, there's actually a, a way to just push in on this front command dial. So when you push that, number two is going to be the ISO. So you can switch back and forth. You toggle between ISO and aperture just by pressing in on the shutter dial there. So we got that set. Number three will set to none, and then number four will set to, uh, set to shutter speed. And step two, you can see you have the aperture ring here. You can spin it, and when you spin it all the way around, you get to A there. So that's step number two. So now you've got step one, step two, and I think that's pretty much it there. Oh, actually, okay, so now that you have the aperture ring set to A, you want to go back into the menu and we're going to go back to the wrench here we're going to go back to button and dial setting and then we're going to go scroll all the way down until you see aperture ring setting select that and you see how it's selected as auto you want to change that to command and now that we have that we can move on to the next step and now step three you're going to want to set the top shutter speed dial all the way to T. So with those three steps, now we can control full manual uh, settings of the aperture and the shutter speed. So first we can see here the ISO is on the bottom right. We can turn our dial and you can see we're turning our dial just like that left and right and it is changing our ISO. Now the F number, you can see there, now we want to change that. We basically um, just want to push this in. So push that in, and then you're going to see the dial switches all the way to the aperture. So now when we rotate the command dial, we're changing that aperture there. And since the top shutter speed dial is now at T, we just go back and forth, and now we can rotate all of it there. So you can see one hand control, we're on the aperture, spin the front ring, and when we want to switch to the ISO, we just click that again, and now we can uh, switch the ISO there. So pretty easy. Uh, now you have full manual control of the camera just by using one hand. Uh, if you ever want to switch back to the aperture ring, if you just uh, go back to your F numbers here on the ring, uh, you basically have command with that instead of um, 
the front dial there. So a uh, little flexibility there and you've got some options now. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Uh, now you know how to change the aperture and the shutter speed with the command dials instead of using the aperture ring and the shutter speed dial. And I hope you found that helpful and I hope you find it useful uh, for times when you really just don't want to use two hands and you just want to use one hand there. So if you found that video helpful, please click subscribe and follow me. Watch out for other videos. I'm doing other videos on photography, landscape photography, uh, Fujifilm cameras, and any other year that I advise. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.